Welcome to IR Insight Live. I'm your host, Will Briganti, here today at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. And I'm joined by Jack Menke. Uh, Jack is a senior analyst for TMT, so Telecom Media and Technology at NASDAQ IR Solutions. Jack, welcome to the program. Yeah, new month, uh, new name, new site. So new month, new name, new site. Yeah, exactly, new, exactly. <laughs> exactly. May 1st. So uh, thank you so much for being here today. So for all of our uh, audience that's tuning in, uh, IR Insight Live is your stop for news and insight on the capital markets from NASDAQ's Investor Relations Solutions team, uh, of which Jack is a part of. So Jack, we're, we're glad you're here today. We're here to talk about TMT, yes. uh, but we want to kick off with some tech. So we're right in the thick of earnings. Right. Kind of walk us through what your team is seeing. Yeah, so I think just given all of the earnings that have been released over the past week, I think we have to understand how much of a headwind that the rising interest rate environment that we're in and how much the, uh, the China-US trade war tensions are really having an effect on tech. I mean, if you look at some of the names that have really uh, released earnings in the past week, you're talking about Microsoft, Alphabet, Intel, all these guys have, and you take Alphabet for example, sure. down about 5% since earnings and really the, the narrative among the, the sell side was just uh, sh shrinking margins and increasing costs and that's really kind of uh, reflective of this rising interest rate environment and how cost is really going to kind of drive some of the uh, you know potential shrink in margins over this year. Um, Microsoft and Intel blowout quarters, guidance very strong for for both companies, but you see them trading down now two days in a row yeah. from all time highs or at least for at least multi year highs for 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 Intel at least. So, you know, to me that's signifying that there's maybe some under underbelly with uh, some other issues that really earnings isn't becoming a, a primary driver in the tech force anymore. And I think that's really gonna kind of uh, be a headwind really for the tech sector overall. Sure, and any kind of highlights from media and telecom worth noting today? I mean, you know, we still have uh, a number of media earnings to, to yeah. come through, a number of tech earnings. Obviously, Apple is after the close today. Today, yeah. Um, so I think in the, kind of in the short term, I think we need to see where tech is, or at least with tech specifically, how once you shake out all the, uh, the volatility, the kind of like the early volatility um, stemming from earnings, I really want to see how investors are going to respond to it because earnings have been blowout, but again, with just the rising interest rate environment, um, I think there's kind of going to be more attractive opportunities in okay. other sectors that investors are looking towards. So you're looking at financials or energy has been very strong over the right. past couple of months. Um, so I, I just don't see earnings becoming just the main driver in the tech sector anymore. And especially with, uh, with the rising uh, China-US uh, trade war tensions, I think there have been a couple of reports out in the past week about uh, Trump potentially banning the potential sale of of chips by U.S. companies to China, and right. that's really going to affect everything in the supply chain. Yeah. So I, I don't think that's going to really affect that much um, or really kind of come to fruition. It's going to take a long time for that to develop, sure. um, but it's just something to kind of keep note of for, for investor attention. Yeah. Um, and if you, you know, turning to telecom, yeah. obviously the big, the big highlight has been uh, the, the Sprint T-Mobile uh, T merger, which yeah. you know, we've talked about yes, a lot on, been, this, on the times, and it's finally the, coming the, to fruition. The third time at the dance, right? Yeah, exactly. But you know, I think regulation now is going to really come yes. into play. This, this thing could potentially draw for a while. We actually saw a, a pretty significant sell-off in, in the telecom sector right. yesterday. You know, there, are, there are a number of investors that are, that are speculating that the deal's not get, going to get through. Right. If it does go through, again, this whole regulatory process, I think, will draw out a lot of, uh, um, of management's intention. And um, obviously, the the, uh, the end result could be increased competition. So that's why you see some of the guys like uh, like Verizon and, and AT and T kind of sell off in the yeah. kind of in tandem with with uh, with Sprint and T Mobile. So Got it. Um, so that's gonna that's a narrative that we're just gonna have to keep uh, keep yeah. waiting on for for probably another you know at least six months. We'll see. Okay, good insight there, Jack. My final question for you is: Are there anything else that you and the team are looking at as it's as we go through the rest of the earnings cycle and through the rest of the quarter? I mean. What we've seen in past quarters is just earnings have just been really just driving the entire sector higher, at least for tech especially. Yeah. And, but given kind of this pullback in some of the larger cap names, you know, you even see Amazon, which uh, is really going to be kind of isolated or really not have too much effect from the trade war tensions with, with China. Mm -hmm. um, you start to see them kind of come down off of all time highs. So I think, again, referring back to my uh, volatility uh, point yeah. is that. I really want to see how things are going to shake out over the next one to two weeks. Once you get all the short-term volatility out of the way, then you'll kind of see, is, it, is this going to be a buying opportunity for investors, or is there going to be kind of this rotation into more attractive names like financials with the, with the rising interest rate environment? So 
I, there's, there's going to be an inflection point over the next couple of weeks, and I think that's really going to um, really dictate, I think, where things are going to go over the next two to three months. All right, Jack, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for that terrific insight on TNT, TMT. Sorry. <laughs> thanks, Will. All right, thanks you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jack Menke. He's a senior analyst with the TMT uh, team here at NASDAQ IR Solutions. Thank you so much for joining the uh, kickoff episode of IR Insight Live. Uh, we'll be coming to you all week with new content. Uh, be sure to watch this space. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you on Thursday.